welcome to a tutorial from Charlotte Reeves. Um, this is going to be basically going through an entire workflow um, editing a rescue session from start to finish in Lightroom. I'm using Adobe Lightroom 5. Um, I've already imported all the images of Xander from Arctic Breed Rescue. Um, I took about the images I take. I took about 95 images um, over the space of probably half an hour's worth of shooting and uh, and I want to narrow this down to a couple of good horizontal shots and about probably four or five vertical portrait format shots. Um, so I'm basically just going to tell you what's going through my head while I'm doing all this stuff um, and hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So I'm in the library mode at the moment and my workflow is basically I go through each image one by one and I either reject it by pressing X on the keyboard or I pick it by pressing P on the, on the keyboard and images that I'm undecided about I will just leave. Um, so basically here we go. So obviously I was just testing exposure and stuff on this shot so there's nothing special. So X and very cute ears though but X. I've got three images very similar here. He's looking off to the side on that one so I'll go X. I'll look at these two a little bit closer to make sure they're in nice focus. So that one is, and that one is also. So a little bit of a different expression between the two, so I'm going to keep them both. I'm actually going to pick them both. Um, okay, again, we've got a similar sort of five shots here. So one, two, three, four, five. So get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Um, let me get rid of this one and I always zoom into 100% just by clicking I have that set up here in the corner here one is to one so when you click it will zoom into 100% um, so yep that one's sharp and this one over here is also sharp I'm kind of understarted I think I like this one better so with a little bit of cropping I pressed R on the keyboard there I think that's going to be my pick and I'm just going to leave that other one because I do like it. I may come back to it. Okay, so moving along here. Um, that one's an X, it's out of focus. That one I think is it's in focus but perhaps not quite the best shot. Um, this one I don't really like the way he's standing, I'll get rid of that one. Um, Kind of interesting, not quite sure why I took that, but that's kind of cool, but I better get rid of it. Um, don't like the expression, don't like the expression, or that one, or that one. So the pick will be between these two. Uh, both images are sharp, this one's probably a little bit sharper and is looking more straight towards the camera. So I'm going to pick that one, but still keep this one. Actually, no, I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Um, now, we moved into some bright sunlight here. And uh, although I like the light sort of streaming in from the left here, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to keep it, I think, just based on that. Um, don't like the expression. He's kind of looking down in this one and in that one. Eyes closed in that one, which I kind of like. So I'm just going to keep that one, but I'm not going to pick any of these ones. Um, that one looks like it's out of focus. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of got his eyes closed as well. So I'll get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. It's an awkward shot. That's awkward. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Or that one. Whoa. Don't like that one either. He's got one ear sideways. I was trying to make some crazy noises and he was sort of trying to work out where they were coming from. So, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Oh, hey, he's looking at me. That's nice. So, that one is sharp. This one is also sharp. I think I like the expression of the first one best, so I'm going to pick that one. And I'm going to get rid of that one. So, we move to a different location here, my graffiti wall. Um, I was just testing the exposure here, so I'm going to get rid of that one, that one, and ooh, that one, and that one, and that one, and not liking that one. Oh, not a good expression in that one. 
Um, I actually don't mind that. I think with a little bit of extra exposure and warmth, that could be a reasonably interesting sort of shot. So something that I do if I um, if I make some adjustments to an image and there's a sequence of images that were all shot in the same lighting conditions with the same settings because I shoot on manual, I'll make a few adjustments to the one image until I get it looking kind of how I want it to look. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'll command C to copy the settings and then move across to the next image and then just command V to paste those settings straight away. A little bit more fill light on that one. Actually don't mind that shot. Yep, and it's sharp, so I'm gonna pick that one. Looking down a bit in that one, looking down in that one, and that one. Oh, and actually I don't mind that one either. I think I prefer this one as opposed to that one where he's looking off to the side and down. So I'm gonna keep this one, but I'm going to pick that one. Um, hmm, nice little misfire there. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cute. I've just pasted the settings onto that one. Give it a little bit more exposure. Um, it's kind of cute, so I'm just going to keep it. And every time I paste the settings and then adjust them a little bit, I'll copy them again to use on the next images. So I've copied the settings on that image to then use on the, the sequence that comes after it. So no, 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 uh, no, no. Uh, paste the settings. I don't like that he's not quite looking at me. He's looking at his foster mum instead. So see the difference between this shot and this shot. This one he's actually looking at me. I've got eye contact. I've got a much better expression. Um, and same with this one here. It's checking if it's sharp as well. Yep, that's sharp too. So I probably will pick this one. If there's two images that are really, really similar and I pick one, I'll generally delete the other one because there's no point in keeping it. Um, even though it's a nice shot, it's a duplicate. Um, get rid of that one, get rid of this one. The lighting isn't the best in these because myself and the foster carer are sort of standing in the light source trying to get his attention. Um, and the focus is not quite right on that, even though it's a nice expression. How about this one? Focus is better on that one. I don't mind that expression. It's pretty cute. That one's out of focus. Um, that one's out of focus, unfortunately. That one is fine. So sometimes I need to go through all the images in a sequence of photos first and just sort of apply some ad adjustments to see which ones I'm going to end up choosing. Um, so I don't like that one, don't like that one. That one's pretty cute but I don't, I'm not in love with the background, it was a little bit, um, a little bit dirty. So, but I do like the expression, it's kind of cute but I'm sure I've got something else with a better background of the same type of expression so I'm just going to go back to these, I'm going to pick that one, get rid of that one because it's very similar, go back to this one, um, out of those three they're very similar but I think I like the one where his head's angled back a little bit more so I'm going to pick that one and keep um, that one and get rid of that one. Um, those two I'm just going to hold on to for a bit. Get rid of that one. So this one actually switched to my 35mm lens. I was previously using my 28 to 70mm lens. So I tend to like to get a few shots that are really nice shallow depth of field. So I think I was shooting on F2 here. Um, 
that one's not the best expression, that one's out of focus. Not the best expression, looking elsewhere. I think it was getting a little bit over it by now. Um, not the best expression, out of focus, out of focus. The thing about shooting on very shallow depth of field is that you do really need to be very careful with your focusing um, because even if you're just a slight bit out, um, it's really noticeable. So, ah, that's kind of cute. That ah, focus isn't quite right. See how it's on the middle of his face rather than his eyes? So we get rid of that one. Um, but I did correct that in the next shot, and it's a very similar shot. So I'm going to pick that one for now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hmm, <laughs> that's cute. Um, get rid of that. All these ones where he's not quite looking. And his ears are sideways, I'm going to get rid of. Coming to the end here. So I like this second image because you can't see his teeth. I think it's a bit nicer, but I'll just check the focus on both. Yep, focus is on the eyes on both. So I'm going to get rid of the one with the teeth and I'm going to pick that one. So I've gone through and flagged all the ones that I want to keep. So picked all the ones I want to keep. Uh, put an X on all the ones that I'm going to delete and then there's some that I was a bit undecided about. So now I'm going to sort by flagged. So down here, I just have to press this. So I've ended up with 12 photos, which is too many, which is good, which means I have some images to choose from. Um, I do need at least one horizontal, so I'm actually going to edit both of these ones. Um, that's so Arctic Read Rescue can decide which one they want to keep. Um, I want to keep that because it's a little bit different from the rest of the shots. Um, I think this is quite cute. I just pasted the settings there, so this is a little bit not quite right. There we go, that's better. And I'm just going to crop this one a little bit. Um, when I'm using the cropping tool, I tend to try and line uh, important elements up on the third lines, so dividing lines between the thirds, um, which sort of employs the whole rule of thirds thing. Um, so basically you can see his eyes on that line there. So I think that makes a pleasing composition. Just going to add a little bit more exposure, pull back the highlights a little bit, a little bit more into the shadows, a little bit more blacks. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So before, after, before, after. I'm going to copy that and paste it onto this one. It's a, it's a different situation, so it's not going to be spot on. So this one actually needs a little bit more exposure. Now it's very bright, this one, so I'm going to definitely pull back those highlights and get the white balance right. So I'm not sure if I'll use this shot. It is very, very bright, so I've completely lost detail in the edges here because it's very furry doggies. Um, yeah, I'll keep it there for now. Um, now, out of these two shots, I'd like to keep that one. I kind of would like to keep that one as well. So I might try and cull. Hmm, that one's cute. This is where it gets really hard. <laughs> Because you've chosen the best of the best and you need to narrow it down even further because there's no point in editing extra images that aren't really going to get used anywhere. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, so I'm basically, to get rid of it but not actually delete it, I'm just going to press U which unflags it and then just removes it from your um, filtered collection there. Um, I'm just going to put a bit more warmth. That's actually the raw image so the exposure is pretty spot on. But I just pasted those settings on there and then reset the exposure and the white balance. So a little bit more warmth. I do quite like that shot. And then there's this shot here. So I think I kind of need to decide between these two. Oh, it's a tricky one. Um, I'm going to go with this second one. Um, I think think the framing's a little bit better and the eye contact's a bit better. So I'm going to press U on this one to get rid of it. Now between this one and this one, 
similar kind of shots. It's nice to get my graffiti wall in, but the eye contact in that one is better. So I'm going to get rid of the graffiti wall one. So now I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven portrait format shots. Um, I haven't edited that one yet, so I'll just copy the settings from this one, paste it onto this one. Yep, that's pretty good. So definitely that one, that one, maybe that one. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm not 100% happy with it. So now I'm down to... Yeah, I'd like to keep both of these just for a bit of variation and I'll let um, Arctic Re Rescue decide which one they want out of those two. Um, and then these two are fairly similar but a little bit different. So I think I'll keep both of these as well. So I've been kind of fine-tuning the editing as I've gone through the choosing process as well. Um, but I'm going to just copy that setting onto this image here. Now I'm not cropping this in any way because it, it needs to be um, cropped into quite an extreme sort of landscape format. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste those settings there. And then this one, and that one, it's got some nice backlight. This one could probably do is a little bit more work. Pull back the highlights, add some blacks in, add a bit more fill light. And then I'm going to copy and paste that onto that one to brighten it up a little bit. I think it needs a bit more exposure too. Yep, there we go. I'll just fix up the cropping in this one too. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And that one, I'll just fix up the cropping there too. So there we go. So there are my final picks. I've got it from 95 down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 images in total. So they'll now be put into Photoshop and given some final editing and sharpening and colour boosting and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, then they'll be resized and sent through to the rescue group. So um, hope you, hopefully that's given you guys a little bit of an idea of um, how I go through the editing and choosing process um, from start to finish in Lightroom. And uh, I will be doing another tutorial soon on some Photoshop stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.